Red snapper allocations are at the center of debate again, with the Gulf Coast Fishery Council looking to make some adjustments. Local 15's Christina Verjaco was there as the council heard from our local fishermen and explains what changes the community could see. Christina? Kim, right now, recreational boats like this one can go red snapper fishing for 40 days out of the year. Each person on that boat can bring back two snappers, but the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Council is looking to change that. For the Gulf Coast, the red snapper is a staple, with 51% allocated to commercial and 49 to recreational fishing. But that quota is under review. We're looking into to make sure that the allocation is balanced and fair and that we've taken into consideration the economics and, and historical averages as well. Tonight was the first chance for the Gulf Coast Fishery Council to hear from our local fishermen. Make sure that it's balanced, make sure we get it right and take in as much comment and, and opinion as we can, but try to get the facts right and make the ultimate right decision. While the commercial fishermen said they shouldn't be punished by having their allocation lowered, the majority on the recreational side agree that this amendment is not a solution and said that there needs to be accountability for how much snapper is really out there. The agenda tonight was simply pitting the, the different elements against one another about the percentage of the quota. I think that they've got to look at how we measure that quota, how we measure the uh, number of fish that have been caught and come up with what's fair. And another idea that was also welcomed was creating a third sector to the red snapper fishing industry. To me, there needs to be three sectors. It needs to be recreational, charter boat, and commercial because those three user groups have totally different needs. The next public hearing will be held tomorrow night and that will be in Mobile. For now, reporting live in Orange Beach, Christina Zverjeko, Local 15 News. Christina, thank you. More